UK independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm making a project for the creators block hop today. Um, I'm, this is going to be a Father's Day project but you could use it as a birthday card as well. Um, and I'm making a explosion box and inside there's going to be a fortune teller or maybe a salt cellar or a cootie catcher whatever you call it when I was a kid we called them fortune tellers my husband used to call his salt cellars and I believe in America they call them cootie catchers I'm mainly using these two stamp sets and these are both new stamp sets out in the new catalogue and I've got loads of little pieces here that I've already cut out. I've done quite a lot of the work already. Um, if you go to my blog, you'll be able to find all the measurements, but I've got loads of little bits here. I'm using the new um, designer series paper that goes with the sailing home. And that is just one sheet that I've turned over. We're using Knight of Navy, Whisper White and Real Red. And this is gonna be the base of my box and this is gonna be the lid of my box. We're gonna start with the base of the box and this is, it's 10 inches by 10 inches and I'm scoring at three inches. Let's just move my blade out of the way. So three inches all the way round. And next we're gonna be making the lid. So this is a six by six piece of Knight of Navy. And we just want to score this at just under an inch all the way round. Um, we're going just under an inch because we want the uh, top of it to be a little bit larger so it fits onto the top of our box nicely. We're going to do a little bit of folding and burnishing. Okay, and so we're just going to cut up these lines here. So straight up the score line. And then this one and we just want we need to get rid of all four of these corners so all four of my corners have been cut out there and this is going to be the bottom of our explosion box and then we just want to cut up and make tabs so I just cut a couple of wedges and then before we actually stick the lid together I'm going to decorate it so I have this rope that I have cut out with the Sailing Home bundle and they come with little knots as well and I've, I've put my rope in my knot and I'm going to stick those onto the side of my lid, just like that. So the flap is four inches so you want the knot to be at the two inch mark. So I finished decorating the sides of my box and I've put some tear and tape onto each of the tabs in the corners. I'm sticking a piece of designer series paper onto my three and three quarter by three and three quarter real red square. My designer series paper is three and a half by three and a half. I'm then going to decorate the front of my lid. Um, and I'm going to, I've got lots of different pieces that I've been cutting out here. So I've got a happy Father's Day. I've got lots of little um, fish and rope. And I'm just going to, I'll probably put some music on and I will figure out what I'm gonna do because I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do yet. So I've used lots of different sets for this. Um, I will list them on my blog post, but you just use what you have. Just use what you've got available. So I've finished my lid. So I've stuck my layer on top of my lid and I've peeled off my uh, backing tape of my tear and tape and I'm just putting these corners together. You need to make sure the corners are nice and straight when you stick them down. If you wanted it to be a little bit stronger, you could put a little dab of um, Tombow in there as well if you think it's gonna be um, used quite a lot. And then I'm just going over with my bone folder and making sure all of those are stuck down. So we're now going to decorate the inside of the box and I'm using Knight of Navy and I'm using the designer series paper as well. I'm going to layer these together 
Um, the Knight of Navy is three and three quarters by two and three quarters, and the DSP is two and a half by three and a half. And I'm just going to stick those all around the inside. So I've stuck all of my layers onto the inside. So when it closes up, I'm going to flap open like this. And then in the middle, I'm using some Knight of Navy and I've just stamped a little um, sentiment there. I'm just going to stick this on and then that to the base. Obviously, you can use whatever you want in the middle there. You can put a different sentiment. So that's going to, st going to go together like this. So now I'm going to decorate the outside of the box. And I've done exactly the same. It's that this time I'm using um, real red. And the opposite side of the design series paper is exactly the same measurements. And I'm going to stick those to the outside of the box. piece of whisper right here it's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches and I've got some Knight of Navy and using my two stamp sets that I showed you at the beginning I'm using from the woven um, heirlooms I'm using these two and from the sailing home I'm using the small um, sailing boat there and we're just going to do a little bit of stamping before we do our fold. I've inked up my smallest um, sailing boat here and I want to stamp on each corner. So just like this and turn it around and do the next one. And you want to make sure you have your um, boat going in this direction. I'm going to then bring in this little um, swirly thing. I'm not sure what they're called. Ink that up. I'm going to put that next to my boat on each side. And then the last one is in this one. And I'm going to just go at the top of my boat there. Once you've left your um, stamping to dry, we're now going to do some folding. So uh, I don't know if you used to make these when you were little, but I used to make them all the time. Um, so we're just going to fold this in half. I'm going to use my bone folder. And then open it up and fold it in half again. Use our bone folder again. Next, we're going to turn it over and we're going to take this point to the centre. And then put our crease here, use our bone folder and do the same on the opposite side. And then the other two sides. Before I go any further with my folding, we're going to do some more stamping. So I'm bringing in the same, this one that I used before. I'm continuing to use my Knight of Navy. And I'm just going to put this in the middle. So we want to do a little bit more decorating in the middle before we start folding. So when we open um, our fortune teller, there's going to be a sentiment on each side. So if you imagine it's going to have a score line going straight through here. And we want to put our message on here. So I'm not going to show you all of my messages because I am really going to be using loads of different stamp sets that I've got. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple. I'm using the Well Said and I've just chosen what I think might be appropriate for Father's Day. And so we have to imagine that there's going to be a line going through there and we want our sentiment to be about there. Okay, and then we're going to turn it round and do on the other side. 
So again, we've got our imaginary score line going through here. And my sentiment there, and I'm going to put happy at the top. Okay, so, and you need to do that in all four squares. I've stamped all my sentiments in the middle there, and we're now going to go back to how we were. So, all folded down, and we're going to turn this over. And now we need to take this corner to the middle. And the more you make of these, the easier it gets. So keep burnishing as you fold these down. And then we need to fold this in half and just burnish again. And then the other way. And this is just to make it easier to actually use. Okay, and now we're going to open this up again. And we're going to do some more stamping. So I'm going to be decorating these little triangles here. And I want to, I'm just making a sort of an L shape. So just decorating these two edges here. And I'm going to do that all the way round. So I've decorated all of those pieces as well now and I'm just going to bring in my, um, this is my real red uh, marker and in these little sections here I'm going to write my numbers. So I'm starting to put my numbers in. So I put number one here and then on the other side you need to turn it around and I'm going to put number four. And then we're going to do that all the all the way round. So number three. So if you had um, some number stamps, you could use number stamps. Or if you do not have lots of stamps and you want to actually write your own messages, you could do that as well. That's absolutely fine. So now we're going to put this together. So it folds like this, and then we turn it over and we fold. In like this and then we fold it in half and we put our fingers in each side like so so it ends up like this and then this is what we do when I was a child we used to have colors on the top so it would be blue and we'd go B L U E pick a number and then somebody would say two, so we go one, two, and then they choose another number, say it was four, and then we'd open it up, and that would be their message. So best dad would be their message. And that is basically how it works. So here's the base of the box, and a little fortune teller goes in there. And then we can fold our sides on our lid. And there we go. There is our finished box. Thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and if you go to the description below this video you'll find my link to my blog post and on there you'll be able to hop along with the other ladies in the creators blog hop and um, it's all dads and grads I forgot to say that it's dads and grads so I've gone for dads because I don't know any grads so thanks for watching bye